damn it. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's a rock cot or something. A small one. Oh, maybe not. Is longer than the other one. <laughs> That's with the 15 pound wire. Yeah. So he just snaps right off if you don't play it right. Yeah, sometimes the same one will bite. Yeah. I've had a two poles going at once and got a bite and had it come off and then the other pole will get a bite like 10, 15 seconds later. Yeah. And when you catch them, they'll be spitting out the other piece of bait <laughs> and still have the one in his mouth, you know, it's just crazy. And, and hell, sometimes they'll even pull for a second like they got hooked and you think that they got hooked for a second that they certainly wouldn't bite it, but. Yeah. What's that? Are you just dragging your weight on the bottom? No, I keep it up. Keep it up. This pole is so sensitive, dude. I, I was telling you about it before. Everyone thinks I'm crazy, but the, the pole is $400, but it's so sensitive. He just barely tapped it. And at that point, I set the weight on the bottom, and then he came back and grabbed it and started to swim off with it, you know? He just ba barely hit it, you know? And, and you can tell the difference. It's not. It doesn't feel like a tap. It kind of feels like a... You know, I mean, a while back I snagged a rock on the bottom fighting the fish, and then I was reeling the fish in after I got it off the bottom. I felt like someone was running a damn saw through the eyes because the line was so abraded by the rocks down there. I thought the reel was coming apart. It was just, it was just the pole reacting to the rough line. You know, I mean, that that, that crazy. What kind of rod is it? It's a GLX uh, G Loomis hover rod. It's a one piece pole it's designed specifically for fishing straight down yeah. you know I mean the thing the thing's wicked man what's that yeah exactly hmm. sometimes they get a foss you know 
Yeah, it's just short because you know if it's too long, you, you don't really need a pole that long when you're fishing in a boat. Oh, no way. It, it actually makes it harder to land the fish, you know. But see, I was using a, a, a different kind of fish that last time. Yeah. I had one of them little uh, bullheads. A bullhead thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. When we caught a condom here, I've had bullhead in the stomach almost every time. Yeah. There it is, right there, see? It's a three fish day already, and it's not even 10.30 yet. You know, that guy in that charter boat thinks he can mess with this. I mean, it's just silly. You know, I mean, he's, I mean, he's embarrassing himself, you know, making a fool out of his customers. Yeah. And he, he might as well go fish somewhere else where he can catch a fish in peace and quiet, you know? Yeah. Instead of being nice to me, try to learn how to catch the fish, the guy comes in here and tries to be a bully to me and stuff. I mean, I've been fishing here for 15 years. The person that showed me how to catch him, been fishing here for 25 years, you know. You know, he, he can't even fish for him anymore. Look at this one. This will be my fish for the day. I got to put two of them in the water to catch the other one. Urgh. The other day it was a 47 incher that went about 45 pounds. Oh, cool. Yeah. Look at this. Nice fish. Oh, through the net. He busted through. I still get him. Oh. <laughs> I got you one and I got you one. <laughs> yeah, you got flounder on, but they're not very lively. <laughs> Holy smokes, boy. Cool. That last one's up there 33 or so. Nice, nice. So. They call him Top Dog, the Lean Card Hog. <laughs> the value of these G Loomis GLX hover rods, they just are so sensitive. You know, time and time again, other people are fishing the same spot, using the same bait, and you'll outfish them threefold, five, six to one. You know, you can't, you can't mess with that. So do check out those poles. And you, you will be amazed at, at how your catch uh, ratio will go up. It'll, it just will. 
you know, if you're not a good fisherman, you still probably benefit from these poles. So, look at this beautiful day. It's not even 9.30 in the morning yet. We've already caught a nice lean cod for the freezer. We've caught a couple more of them that we're going to put back in the water here. And uh, it's great. Great day to be out on the water. Ah.